Hello, I'm Sarah Perry and I'm the author of The Essex Serpent. I think there's two main things that tend to come up when people speak to me after events or they get in touch on Twitter. One of them is the representation of friendship in the novel. Um, the epigram to the book is from Montaigne's essay on friendship and it says, if you press me to say why I loved him, I can say no more than because he was he and because I was I. And I think friendships aren't often written about as being as intimate and complex and complicated as we all know from our lives that they can be. So I wanted the Essex Serpent to be full of these friendships between men and men, women and women and men and women so I've been really delighted that that's something that's kind of stuck a chord with readers and the other thing I'm really pleased about is that I got to write about the Essex that I know I'm an Essex girl and Essex tends to be treated as something of a joke um, we all recognize the whole Towie thing but that's not my Essex my Essex is the Essex of Malden of the Blackwater estuary of wonderful marshes and of strange and ancient legends of Anglo-Saxon history so it was really exciting to be able to write about that and then to find that Essex readers would come up to me at events and say thank you so much for creating a version of the county that they recognise from their own childhood and their own visits there. So. One of the really amazing things about publishing this novel has been the support and love that Waterstones booksellers have shown it right from the start. It's a really anxious time publishing a book and you're not quite sure how it's going to be taken and I would sometimes wake up in the dead of night worrying about whether or not people would like it and find that I'd been tagged in images on Instagram and on Twitter showing these incredible window displays or massive murals painted on the back of um, shop walls where booksellers had stayed up all night creating these incredible images there's one shop that really sticks in mind where they had oyster shells and moss and reels of blue thread which was all taken from the book and I ended up in tears more than once just so moved by the fact that this story that had come from my imagination had inspired Waterstones booksellers to go to these lengths so it's been a really incredible experience and to end up with this absolutely extraordinarily beautiful book which I think is the most beautiful book I've ever seen and it's mine um, from having um, been awarded the book of the year. It's just, it's been an absolutely amazing experience and I'm so thankful for it.